four years old, so they both said here. <laughs> anyway, okay, so. <coughs> so I have, I have a, a really big suggestion. Stand with your head up. Okay. <laughs> so for you to do that exercise, because you don't have to lay down at your feet, right? I bet you could go like this and feel your feet being centered under your shoulders. I bet you could. And it's sort of a B. Yeah. In fact, well, you're taller than I am, so maybe that's far enough. I mean, maybe that's not too far apart. Could be a tiny bit closer together, I think, like one inch or something. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Okay, that's great. So your, your <laughs> goal this week is, you know, just whatever position you're in, just do that. But do it with your head up. Okay. All right. Now the suspended arm. <coughs> I see your little emeralds. <laughs> oh, yeah, my, my ensemble coordinator bought me this. Oh. I'm not really sure what it means. Okay. <laughs> okay, are your hands flopping from your wrist? Okay, so that's the thing to think about. Okay, so everything is, your, your hands are just hanging as what we call dead weight, you know, just like this. All right, so you're not holding them up at all. You're just, it's like the only thing that's being pulled up is this part, like the ulna above, okay? And then you keep them just hanging there as you come down. Okay, so let's do it again. Okay, excellent. So there was a time, there was a point in there where your hands were moving but your elbows weren't, okay? So remember I had you, I, did I have you put your hands on my elbows? Yeah, just let's do it again. It couldn't hurt anyway. So put your hands on either elbow. So it never stops moving. <laughs> Those are leading down. Next time, don't look down though. <laughs> I mean, like if you were, you know, it's kind of funny because every year, if you've been to the evening of Encore's performance, yeah. right? Okay, so there's always this tape, and then I, my students play an afternoon of encore, which is the afternoon before. And, uh, you know, I tell the students, try to just kind of glance down, don't go like, <laughs> you know, out there on the stage at Ben Roy Hall. <laughs> so, <it's all> right. <laughs> so you actually have to kind of get used to, to getting yourself set up without looking down. Good floppy hands. Yeah, much better. Okay, now, uh, you ended up with your, uh, this is sort of armpit height, which I'm guessing, at least for most people, <laughs> uh, when you come down, you go until your shoulder blades are in the back pocket. As soon as they're in the back pocket, yes, you could come on down, but don't because, yeah, so do you know what I mean? I think I talked about that before. Or flat against your back, whatever works for you. Okay, so here we go. Ready? Do it with my speed. Okay, now do you feel your shoulder blades in the back pocket? Were you thinking of that at the time? Yeah. Okay, so now do it by yourself, but do it that speed. Don't take a lot of time. <laughs> Okay, now, do you feel like your arms are, do you feel like, you felt like you had to come all the way down to here before they went into your back pocket? You did? Okay. Just maybe when you get down to about here, slow down just a little bit. Keep it moving, but slow down just a little bit. <laughs> Try stopping with the top of your hands. Try just stopping with the top of your hands at the top of your shoulders. See how that feels. Okay, now does it feel like your shoulder blades are in their back pocket? No. Okay, so just keep this up a little bit higher. I feel like one is and one isn't. That's true. Okay, well, just just kind of experiment. Okay, sit back on your kangaroo tail. You're actually arching your back a lot. Okay, okay so sit back. All right. So you got that low center of gravity. Did I have you stand on that BOSU thing? Did I have you do that? I'm gonna have you do that. This, this, 
I think is, is the last. I don't have a lot more tricks for this, but I do have this thing over here that I keep on my sofa. And you see it is for obvious reasons. Okay, so <laughs> this thing weighs a ton. I'm going to put it over here for a reason. <laughs> so stand right here at the edge of the sketch because I'm going to have you look at me do this first. Okay, my slippers unfortunately lost all their oh boy. stuff on the bottom, so it's a little tricky, but you're wearing socks. So, okay, so I'm going <laughs> to, this is why we're over here. Okay, so I'm going <laughs> to put my feet and sander them. So here you can't want them because you need to sander them on that dot. Okay, and then. So you're actually sitting back like this, and then you can practice going like this. Notice something. My shoulders are not moving up and down at all, and neither are my hips, okay? So you're really using your knees and your hips to do this, and I have a low center of gravity. If I go like this, so I lock my knees. Now, if somebody came and pushed me, I'd fall right off. But if I'm like this, I have more of a sense of balance. Okay, so you can come over, I'll help you if you need help. <laughs> I don't know why I'm saying that, I'm almost 65. But, <laughs> <laughs> but I do have a little practice doing that. I know, it's a little tricky, especially with... I feel like it's gonna pop. Is well, it pop? Oh no, it won't pop. <laughs> well, it's never pop. I've had it for years. Now just well hold on to the the yeah, well, hold on here first. And then and then and just then, shift. Do not look down. Because you're going like this. I mean that's you know, so balance. Shift okay. just to get a feel for how yeah. it Yeah. So while you're holding on, just just push one foot down. Try to try not to make it go in a circle. Make it just go down on one side and then the other. Yeah, now you're using your knees and your hips. Right? And you feel this? This is not yeah, okay, so now try letting go here with the ears, Mother. <laughs> okay, so let your one foot go down, and then the other foot, you can put your arms out if you want to. to keep your balance, you know what I mean? Yeah, that's good. Notice your shoulders aren't moving up and down. And can you put your hands on your hips? Yeah, good. Good, very good. Okay, now on purpose, lock your knees and arch your back. So you, feel, you feel you have a high center of gravity now. All your center of gravity is up here. You feel that? Okay, now, low center of gravity? Yeah, there you go. Very good. Now you got it. Oh, whoa! Okay, all right. So I think you've gotten a good out of it. So you can step off. Woo! I know. I don't know how much longer I can do this. <laughs> I move this thing every time. It's one, one night I turned off the lights, I forgot to move the thing. I didn't fall oh. down, but I did trip over the thing when I went to go upstairs for the night. <laughs> that wasn't very smart. Yeah, it's like <laughs> after you've roller skated for an hour, right? Yeah. Okay, so so that if there are other things like, um, uh, you know, Alex uh, Werner. Alex Warner, uh, they have a balance board, which is very similar uh, at their house. They brought one space lesson, um, but it, it's it's not quite as fancy as that, but it works really well. It's sort of like a surfboard, but it has this rounded bottom like that underneath it in the middle, and so you just stand like that. It's it's more the shape of a surfboard. Yeah, when we were kids, we used to have a toy that was like a, a wood, just a slab of wood that stood on a, 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 a circular... Uh, like a like a small cylinder, and you would practice, and then. <laughs> oh, I guess. <laughs> you don't remember that toy? <laughs> it was a seventies thing. Oh, okay. Oh, see, I was in high school in the seventies. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I think. I, yeah. Uh, so uh, now, try. Don't look down. Get your feet shoulder width apart, and then, then think. You know, like. Um, I might have said this, but one of my students' dads uh, was a Taekwondo instructor for a while, and he told me when I was showing his son this, he said, oh, we call that the natural position in Korean, whatever that, if that must uh, translate into natural. And mm. he, uh, I don't know why they call it natural, but um, if somebody were coming at you, wouldn't you be standing like this? You wouldn't be standing like this. 
because <laughs> then he knocks your mind over, right? So this is how, and this is important because you're playing violin, and violin is up here as, to begin with, so you have to get this kind of feeling of low center of gravity, and then your arms will feel much more like um, free to move, and you'll get that suspended arm feeling much better. Okay, so so now I need to see the float in the circle in addition. So go ahead. Good. Uh, you forgot to keep your hands walking, so keep your hands walkable. Yeah. So and and then and then just try coming down to here. Okay. So the top of your hands are going to end at your top of your shoulders. Okay. Very good. All right. Now float. Uh, the float is this. Oh yes. So you go out very gently, and when you're the whole point of this is focusing. You can close your eyes even. Focus on your arms, just floating straight back and forth. It's like you're in the water. Kind of. Yeah. Okay. And now flip your hand out. Okay. Now the circle. Mm -hmm. Very good. Okay, good. Just try to keep it in the same frontal plane here. So try not to hit my hand. So you wouldn't want to come out this way. Uh, keep your hand for you. And the 20 degree angle. So you're going to come all the way up to here. Lead up with the elbow. D I mean, <laughs> lead up with the wrist. Down with the elbow. Up with the wrist. Are you sitting back? You look like you're kind of making your shoulders be off balance. Try to keep your shoulders really in balance. Just now, all you have to do that was really good, except just do primitives. <clears throat> Focus on your uh, uh, floppy hand. Yeah, so your hand is floppy the entire time. Yeah, it feels really weird, but you, it's really. Super helpful to get the feeling of that floppy hand. See, you're out here. Wait, it's standing. Yeah. Okay. So this is. I was asking you to stay. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. And just keep this. Don't try to touch those together. Oh, these two. Yeah. Don't try to touch. Don't try to do anything to your hand. It's just let it flop. Oh, you have them taped. Yeah. Oh. I was having a hard time keeping them next to each other when I hold held the bow, so I thought if I tried to teach them that this is natural, then they would just kind of do it. Hmm. But okay, so let's, let's leave it on for now. Okay. Okay, I mean, I'm glad you're experimenting. It may, you know, different things work for different people. You're arching your back okay. like you can. Okay, see, if I go like this, can you tell I'm off balance? Okay, so can you tell I'm in balance? Yeah, it's really easy when you see somebody else do it. Okay, so uh, keep, you might want to even, uh, let's do this. Um, do it once once again, just come up like this, and then down. Shouldn't take longer than that. Uh-huh, good. Now, hold that position. Should be really easy to keep it there, because you're just suspending your arms. Turn around. So, let's see, I guess I'll go over here. Uh, so I'm going to flip this out, and I'm going to stand in front of the wall here, and just make sure that I'm staying like that. So I'm about what a foot in front of nine inches, something like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and you feel your shoulder being totally relaxed. Remember, keep the 20 degree angle. So look at your. Yeah, and then also, you should always be looking at, like, your watch here, <laughs> rather than the other side. Oop, so if you go like this, you're not looking at your watch. There we go. Okay, good. Now, that's all on that. You can come over. Um, so I'd say the key thing uh, for you, the, the, well, so to tweak this, I think what I'm going to do is right here. Um, uh, the first thing is, uh, uh, so make your stance, okay? So I'll put the feet, which is what I call that, 
knee deep, shoulder width apart, I'm not gonna write that, without looping down, okay? Because then you totally make your body go off balance because your head's hanging over. Um, can you imagine trying to ski and look down at your skis? You'd fall over immediately, right? Or ice skating or whatever. Yeah. Do you ski after golf? Did we talk about that? We have skied. But we that don't. Would, that would be about what I could say about myself. <laughs> I have skied. <laughs> like four days in my life. <laughs> right. The last year of which I was 48 years old. And I just decided, okay, it's not worth it. Um, Scary to learn at that age. Yeah, it is. Um, okay, so. Um, all right. So, knee feet without looking down. Okay. And then I'm going to put uh, low center of gravity. Right. So actually sit back on the kangaroo tail is will get you that low center of gravity. In fact, I'll just write kangaroo. Does that make sense? A big part of that is just not locking the knees, right? Yes, huge. But it's but it's, so, it's such an that. easy way to rest is the locked knees position that it actually you start feeling like, whoa, I'm using my muscles to keep my You are yeah. you are using your muscles to keep your balance. So it, it does create in the way more work, but it's way better because anybody like Gosh, I had this four-year-old in here this morning who was like, uh, her knees actually caved in like this, <laughs> and then her stomach is sticking out, and her back is this arch, it, you know. But that's just how she is. Yeah. And so, you know, just trying to get her. So she actually, I don't think you have to do this, but I actually have her standing in front of the chair up against the wall so her knees can't go back, and I put her foot chair. Oh. You don't need that, I think, as long as you can, you know, think about this. The other thing people don't do is, um, it's not really the knees so much as it is sitting back. That's why I had you uh, lean up against the wall or touch the wall with your tailbone first, right? Mm. Because then you're actually using your hip joints. Those are called your hip flexor muscles that cause you to sit down. Right, but don't look down. See, if you go like this, you, you've lost your balance. Anybody who does, uh, you know, anything that requires uh, balance, like ice skaters, they would never look down because you totally lose your balance then, or skiers or whatever. Tight rope. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, right. Yes. Don't look down. Either, you know, <laughs> right. Like this. That's why I like to fall down, you know, at first. I think it's good to be looking down instead of, you know. Yeah. Well, that bikes can be a little different. Uh, but 